What's going on everyone? Good evening, Charlie here. Man, today we saw a level of just blatant manipulation that we haven't seen in quite some time. Uh, if you're a new ape, of course, it may have been uh, a little offsetting, but if you're an OG ape, it's nothing like the flash crash of March, if you know what I mean. However, we do have another filing to talk about out of the NASDAQ PHLX. This is 2021-37. We've had a ton of these come out lately all across the board. And guess what? Yet again, this one has to do with market share and liquidity. Now, the market share thing, I mean, looking at the data, I mean, I, I'm not sure if this is all theatrics or if this will actually have a you know substantial impact on the market share, but either way, something has to be done about it. Uh, the timeline for this one, June 11th it was proposed, 22nd of June it was filed and effective immediately, and then on the 28th, Monday, it will be operational and or implemented if it passes through inspection. Now this is the uh, Equity 7 Section 3 that they're talking about amending and it has to do with the pricing schedule of um, the ports and things like that, routing fees, uh, things of that nature. Now it says here, I thought this was interesting, I included this, that um, the maximum fee assessed to a PSX participant for the above listed port fees will be 30000 per month. So I thought that's interesting that there's an actual limit for fees. So anyways, section three of this um, rule book here that they're going to be amending these uh, fees, this is how it is as of right now. So fees for routing orders in all securities, charge to member organization entering P PSTG or PSC in order that executes in a venue other than the NASDAQ, and then it gives you the related fee associated with um, each category here. So as you can see, it's a very minuscule amount. Now, of course, when we're talking you know, millions and billions of volume, of course that can add up over time. I just hope that seeing these on a mass scale come out from all of the exchanges basically to try to get more market share will end up actually being impactful. Because if we can change the market share, I mean, we're sitting here on a monopoly, right? These dark pool and off exchange venues control the entire market basically because they make up almost 80 90 percent of the volume especially the ADF which I find the most interesting so the purpose of this basically is to increase execution prices between one and five dollar stocks now that I find that a very narrow range of uh, of pricing to you know make these changes for However, based on this uh, filing, it says that uh, this, this price segment is less robust than other price segments, which, by the way, uh, super notes are awesome because this uh, super note 3 lets you know that th the SEC considers a penny stock anything below 5 bucks. So anyways, the purpose of this one is just to increase the fees to in, uh, incentivize members to use the exchange rather than the off-exchange Similar language to what we've been hearing out of almost every other exchange. So in essence, numerous indicia. Now, this is why these are annoying because that's just a stupid word to use. I mean, I looked it up just so you could see the definition. They're just saying numerous signs. Like, just say signs, people. Anyways. Numerous signs demonstrate the competitive nature of this market. For example, clear substitutes to the exchange exist. No shit in the market. For equity security transaction services. The exchange is only one of several equity venues to which market participants may direct their order flow. You don't say. Within this environment, market participants can freely and often do shift their order flow among exchange and competing venues in response to changes in their respective pricing schedules. Within the foregoing context, the proposal represents a reasonable attempt by the exchange to increase its market share relative to its competitors. So is this what's going on? That language right there. A reasonable attempt. Is that all that the SEC is asking for? Because we're seeing these filings come out from all the exchanges in an attempt to increase their market share. But will this do it? Because take a look at this. That's a wide gap. Right here, we have dark pools. We're talking 40, 30% daily. These are our exchanges. The one that's making this filing, PSX. This is data for June 24th, consolidated market-wide volume or market market share data PSX a whopping 0.66 percent 
So if the gimmick is to just have almost every one of these, every single one of these exchanges has had this same filing come out where they're trying to you know, amend their pricing to gain more market share. But I mean, is that really going to close this gap here? We're talking 30% gap? There's no way. I don't see it happening. So getting a little concerning at the rate of filings coming out. And, um, you know, basically, I guess we'll have to wait and see the effect these are going to have because uh, we have a swath of them going to be approved on, on Monday. So we'll have to see. But, uh, yeah, for for years, ADF has ruled the market along with TRF Carteret. Big time. Not even close. I mean, look, I mean, everything else doesn't even get 10%. No exchange has more than 15% market share. No one. That is a huge problem. And I, I feel like if we could fix that, then the market, you know, <laughs> may be a uh, much better place. Because if this is going to be what's controlling it, you can think Robinhood, Webull, all these free, quote unquote, free brokerages that we're using. Uh, this is the price we paid for it. Nothing's free. Remember that. Nothing is free. Uh, $1 commission gets you the capability of deciding where your order goes. You give that right up when you sign up for a free brokerage, read the terms and agreements. They can do pretty much whatever they want. Uh, Rehypothecate your shares, which is another big factor to a lot of the problems we're seeing in the market today. So just got to keep in mind, nothing in life is free. And uh, yeah, these trading apps are, are a big part of this, this problem here. Either way, we fix this, who knows? But until this is uh, resolved, not much you can do. I mean, there's just not. So we'll have to see what happens next week. I'm looking forward to it, and I hope you all have a good weekend.